we're beginning yeah unrequited love pay attention to the red flags and give your relationship a chance Ugh. so clearly this to me this is the karmic right pay attention to the red flags the unrequited love is the rejection so they're feeling the rejection and of course this will trigger them to want to work on the connection or again this elusive energy i keep picking up with an energy around you that a person wants to return so there's a lot of red flags here is the stay optimistic about your love life so um and then engagement yeah your love life is ascending to higher higher levels of commitment this to me is your other connection right so the interference you know this is where your optimism needs to come in a lot of you are creating these boundaries which is what i'm saying the sense of freedom brings this optimism right this change this transition but it's clearly triggering rejection on this other person and i think the red flags you're seeing the signs because signs are cautioning you right signs are cautioning you you're seeing the signs about your interference about this ex or about your person or your person seeing the signs about their ex there's interference clearly here so let's see what what we need to hear about this interference for you taurus what's this interference So we have secret admire, suppression, resistance, shyness. I feel this person um, is definitely suppressing their emotions. And I feel like they also feel like you're hiding. You know, a lot of you have probably already moved on or are, are dating. Or obviously, like, again, you have um, higher levels of commitment with someone else. And... Or just dating you know really embracing a new connection here so here we have conflicted inconsistency decisions this person's conflicted there's ego pride arrogance here and then solitary yep um with john some single so they're alone they get into their ego is not letting them um move on from this connection i think the more the rejection happens right um the more they they cling and we've been getting that clinging energy for some time. And the solitary, the, the lonesome, the loneliness here has this person really, um, you know, thinking about things. I think they're also just imagining things again about this connection. So let's see what else we have for this energy, Taurus. taking all these but i'll take those what do we have shadow so obviously the moon lots of things there's a lot of secrets here trapped in fear yes eight of swords suffering in silence nine of swords this person definitely there's the uncertainty and the, and that'll do it right the uncertainty of what you're doing here we have five of swords conflict and defeat they feel defeated but also your boundaries create more um strife more um of a pull towards them because they now they can't get through and i think that's why the boundaries feel so great right you're moving forward ace of pentacles this is you and financially a lot of you who were dealing with legal aspects i think they're this is the setting free um that's changing because you're also kind of seeing the light at the end of the tunnel my goodness three of swords heartache and loss this is them this is hitting them hard moving on this is the six of swords this is you and of course this is you empress this is what i'm saying once you reach this vibration of empress um you're setting yourself free also this is your new person this is a match here this is someone you have respect for 
Taurus. So just like we just said, stay optimistic because you have um, higher levels of commitment and some of you are calling in this new soulmate, a new person. So someone is is um, someone is helping with with uh, part of this elevation that you're transitioning to and your other person is going to feel it um, for some of you your other person that's the hidden the shadow so the expected of a new love they may have seen it already you guys may they may know of it already but this is really um upsetting and for some of you like i said it might they might not know it's a secret admirer so it's it's this what's going on there's something that's hidden in their mind okay so what's this conflict and defeat here Wow, yeah, Tower and Ace of Swords. So some truth is coming out. And again, it could be about this new love for them. Some of them may, may find out. Yeah, look at this. Page of, of Cups. The fact that you're dating, that you are now in a new relationship and a new connection. Um, also, the fact that they just three of wands in the bottom. There's no hope. They're going to have to like resist hope here. I really want to know what this truth. Let's see what this Ace of Swords is, Spirit. Six of Cups. So here we have two combinations here. Truth about this connection being over, the past being over, but also that you've met someone else, new love, Knight of Cups, um, that you're giving attention elsewhere. Let's see the tower. I want this tower. Wow. Ace of Swords again. And yeah, new love. Look at this. Page of Cups. We just talked about this. And Fool, Five of Swords in the bottom, which is what we're clarifying. So they know there's competition. I mean, look at this. It's the same energy, Taurus. We're looking at the same energies here. They know that there's competition. So... Your new love is showing up, right? The fool, your new love is showing up and your old love is showing up. There is competition. They're realizing this is not going to be an easy comeback. And a lot of you, um, <laughs> this is good. I just think it's great. So let's see this Ace of Pentacles. You know, you've got two aces here. That This is a new beginning. It doesn't matter. It's forced. It's done because... Ace of Swords, to get to the Ace of Swords, that means you've accomplished a cycle of swords, which is Ten of Swords. You've put something mentally to end and you're you're not going back because now you're in a very clear space in the mind, air quality with the swords, very clear space in the mind. You're being truthful about the situation. You're looking at it in a very um, clear way. So give me more of this Ace of Pentacles. the hermit, the world, wow, and the devil, and there goes the empress. So you've gained wisdom about this person, right? And this is where I'm saying you're setting yourself free from this devil, the world, it's over. You're going towards this empress. So let's clarify, uh, Ten of Pentacles, new commitment. Let's clarify this devil because I think this is your ex. Um, they obviously know that there's no, no, your distance with the hermit. There is no opportunity here. Um, it's also putting them in a very, um, again, this, this attachment. Um, it's a very obsessive um, energy. Give me more of this devil energy. Oh my God. Oh. Ah, oh, Taurus, the devil with the devil. This is severe. This is, this is, this is, I have to say, I don't think they think this is over mentally. You're done, right? We're talking about the commitment. Yep, there goes the Ten of Pentacles and there goes the Five of Swords and a lot of them are going to be upset you moving on to another commitment but i don't feel like they feel this is over so let's get more on this world okay more on this world 
you know, Taurus, I have to say, I, I can't, as a reader, I have to warn when devil is clarified by a devil, this is definitely a warning. And for those of you who still don't see it, right, pay attention to the, the signs are cautioning you. It's all in your face. And maybe some of you are still ignoring, but this is a warning. Hear more on the world. That definitely be careful. Hear more on the world. Three of Pentacles. Yeah. So obviously someone's in. Um, a lot of you, I have judgment here. Woo, lovely with the sun. A lot of you, you know, for a while we've been feeling these legal battles and I feel the three of pentacles, something will get resolved here. And with the sun here, it's going to work in your favor. So this, this world, world card literally means a cycle is ending. Clarifying the ace of pentacles, meaning this freedom is here. Clarifying it with the sun. The sun is your freedom. So give me more of the sun. Yeah. Six of pentacles and the, the knight of pentacles. So something that's been moving slowly obviously these are financial so something financial is coming into balance and, and a decision is going to be resolved now for some of you this will clear out this month august for some of you um this could be in september we've got hermit energy or the next uh fall season for some reason i'm feeling fall season now too for some of you I, I need to get more on this devil though. Okay, spirit. Not yeah, the selfishness, nine of cups. They're holding on. They're holding on to this. There's a lot of selfish energy behind this. Give me more of this heartache and loss. The sun. So a truth is coming out, six of pentacles again. I mean We've got the same energies here. There's a truth coming out. Also, again, the scales are balancing here. So Spirit, give me more of the Six of Pentacles. Death. Ooh, yes. With the, with the Hierophant. And there goes the Nine of Cups. I, I mean, Nine of Pentacles, Taurus. This is what I'm saying. A lot of you are setting free. Those who are dealing with legal battles, you're going to be set free. Your freedom is here. And this person is not going to be happy, clearly, because this comes to an end. Resolution. Resolution is here. Um, but for those who are going to be delayed this is obviously their fear right because we're clarifying the three of swords their fear is when this day comes and their resistance is to set you free they don't want to set you free because here we have the star in the bottom and they know that that means you will be better off you will be better off even when you were with them give me more of this moving on like you're decided this is you this is you this is you some of you this is your energy some of you this is your other person your new person's energy game on this moving on wow the way these cards are coming out so there goes the judgment again four of wands yep leading to stability six of swords things are finally coming to resolution um, but there goes the resistance nine of cups and the high priestess I feel this is your person also showing up two of pentacles so this is a mirroring energy still and we're showing the judgment of two people here um, and this person is obviously going to have no choice this person also knows I'm getting the energy of the secret right we're talking about a secret at my or high priestess usually indicates another another person right in this person if you're married to this person or this is an ex this is not clearly an ex for a lot of you obviously who is still on your case and in their from their perspective whoever this whoever your new person is will always be the other woman this person thinks they're the main person um but you've moved on so give me more on this empress yeah the star 
you've moved on eight of cups and ten of cups new commitment so a lot of you are really going to settle um into this new relationship this could be a libra aquarius you guys have capricorn you've got um pisces scorpio leo um you know strong energies are capricorn leo scorpio taurus gemini and pisces and aquarius and libra <laughs> there's a lot of signs here you guys so i just feel there's a lot of energies going on here and what i'm saying is you found a new love this is going to be someone this is this is exactly a positive direction this is also um engagement which is basically you engaging and it's what this card says your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment and it's not just a higher level of commitment, meaning it has to be a marriage or whatever. What it means is a higher level to your soul. That's what the star, the star aligns you more to who you are. And this is more of a compatibility with this new commitment. And this is what I'm saying, like this person and those who it's your, and this also represents to me your energy because we were just looking at the star and this person knows that you are going to do better than them. One you're better off either way than the commitment that you had, but you're also doing better than them with another relationship, right? Your new love is going to be everything you want. Six of Wands. This is this is good, you guys. This is this is this is done. Um, you know, there's going to be a little frustration behind it, but this to me screams, you know, things will definitely work out. Oh, oof. Hold on, guys. My cards are going to fall that I'm going to need in a few. Um, because I want to clarify with another deck. I'm going to leave this because for some reason it's falling out for a reason. That's a message for later, but I guess it's important here um interesting there's so many things here that i thought i cleared out these are other messages all right all right spirit it's giving me way too many too many messages at one time i will speak on them in a bit this is what i was going for so i want to clarify the star give me more of the star energy spirit let's get more energies on the star yeah beautiful the tower the tower here which is, we have the tower here which is your new beginning so and this is what you're gonna love here taurus there goes the justice and the queen of wands they oh wow and the sun i'm telling you this is a positive direction um you guys with the, those with the legal battles Fairness is here. This is why I keep seeing the scales with the six of pentacles, which is, shows me the scales here also with the justice. So legal battles are going to really transition things here. You've got the queen of wands and I feel it's because you're in this energy of really a strong stance, very clear. Look at this two of wands with the six of wands again and the fool. Yeah, very clear about where you're going. Can remember this queen of wands oh my god ace of swords and then we have the moon again with the wheel of fortune so all the uncertainty wow oof Taurus, i can't this energy is way too there's a lot of communication coming in okay a lot of progress chariot energy cancer energy um a lot of energies coming in even with these extra cards that i i i'm being told to to speak on which I'm gonna speak on in a little bit because I it's just a lot, Spirit needs to slow down with how fast the cards are coming out. So let's see what the blockages are right now. And I wanna stress because the beginning of this reading has to do with your boundaries. So your boundaries are creating this vibration of change and firm movement. And this is where the wheel is. So basically all that uncertainty now gets to find that the wheel gets to turn. It gets to move um, and we don't get stuck anymore because, again, we don't want to get stuck. We don't want to get stuck in that shadow again in these energies. This is the shadow. This is this can be a trap. 
So let me get one more because I'm feeling, okay, thank you, Spirit. So, yep, thank you. Beliefs, your beliefs are keeping you stuck. And this is what I'm saying. So for some of you, right, this is, this is some pride and ego in the sense of your ways of thinking and seeing things have to change. You've got Ace of Swords in this reading three times, which I, it basically forces the clarity, the truth to yourself, where your bondage, the truth about your own ties, and it could be mentally, and I feel a lot of you, it's mental because of the air, the Swords energy that's here. There is a tie and a trap that keeps you mentally stuck which has to do with the way you perceived and um, viewed what was going on. But this is where the healing came in and rituals. This being a blockage means you had to get out of this trap with rituals, meaning you had, you were, which has to do with your boundaries, whatever you guys were doing. So here it says practice processing old wounds and working with the rhythm of creation. Those are two things. So you're practicing letting go, and this was what was keeping you stuck, where you weren't practicing letting go, um, and it wasn't operating with the rhythm of creation, which is leading the wheel to turn. So when we finally let go, the wheel gets to turn, right? And work with the rhythm, then the rhythm of creation moves. Then you create. So this is a ritual, this is a practice, this is processing, this is working through it, this is creating you know this is how you create the change so let's see what the triggers are right now the toxic traits of this x because clearly they're in an opposite and i usually used to use this as warnings manipulation yeah they put you down labels or judge you to attack your self-esteem so please again warning these are signs they're going to attack your self-esteem control yep their controlling behavior comes from their insecurities again they have a controlling issue they're they're gonna up their game probably lies 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 unavailable in another relationship or or emotionally unavailable so nothing's gonna change this person obviously is a liar um we do have manipulation in the bottom they will make you feel guilty when you don't give into their desires oof so whatever they want, they think this is their control. You, they'll manipulate you with, with lies. They'll talk your self-esteem. They'll make you feel guilty. You know, these are lots of negative traits of this person that, again, the rejection will trigger, right? And your boundaries will trigger. But you're, you can't let this interfere with the progress. You know, these cards are coming out so strong today because um, I feel this the spirit force divine intervention which i think this is exactly why we got this other card and i'll still pull more but spirit wants to tell me about destiny and this is right like i just said divine intervention here so divine intervention whatever is happening right now it was all orchestrated before you were born it is all happening for a reason and it will benefit your growth remain positive which is why we have a lot of sun energy here obstacles and challenges and the waiting game and I feel this is a lot of, um, this was just a period of waiting. And that's why this intervention had to happen to break these challenges. And it was like a trap. A lot of you may be seeing synchronicity. So we're back to signs also. So please pay attention to the signs. Some of you may be seeing numbers. Here we have 1111, So a lot of you may be seeing numbers here. And the synchronizations you are experiencing is, is the universe letting you know you are aligning to your true path. And that's why we have the star energy here twice. That's what I'm saying. You, What's happening is leading you to a, a, a true path where you're supposed to go. This is meant to, to happen. So don't fear it. So let's get one more guidance spirit. Thank you for Taurus. Gratitude. Oh my God, this was in the bottom. And I looked at it when I picked up this card. So yes. Be in a place of gratitude. Say thank you. Practice gratitude. Take one moment. Take one moment a day to think about the things you, the things and people you are grateful for in your life. When you have a grateful heart, this will multiply. More grateful blessings will be coming your way. Be thankful for what you already have. So, you know, there's a state of gratitude and not getting stuck in like, 
you know, that fear mentality or that you're losing anything. You know, that's how we co-create with spirit.